All right, we're at the entrance of the Buell Disc Golf Course. You can see that they have a nice map. Here we are for the tee on the long tees. From here it is 312, from the short tees it's 232. Here's the view from the long tee. The basket is down the trail and to the left. There's the view from the short tee. Let's see if we can get you a look at the basket real quick. And there is basket number one. Here we are at hole two. From the blue tee, it's 301. From the red tee, it's 220. Here's your view at the basket from the blue tee. We're just going to see if we can zoom in and see the basket. All right. You can see that these tee pads have a nice astro turf on them, or basically that artificial grass gives you a really nice grip. All right, and here's the view from the red tees. You can see the basket up there nicely. That brings us to the hole, our basket on hole number two. All right, here we are at hole number three. Hole number three only has one tee, it's 145 feet. It is right here on top of the steps. I sound winded because I forgot to record until I got to the bottom of the steps. That is my bag down there. You can see the basket off to the right. We'll walk on down to it. There's my lovely wife behind there. And there's number three. That's her first throw. She almost hit the basket. Here we are at hole four in Buell, Minnesota, Judson Mine Course. You can see that this one is 400 from the blue tee, 225 from the red tee, and the, the blue tee can cause a little bit of anxiety, as you can see from here. You basically have to hug the left edge, otherwise you're going to be in the drink. This would be the drop zone if you go in the water. A lot less water and trees to deal with. We have basket number four. Nice view of the water. It's quite a scenic course. We're at hole five. The red tee is 132, the back tee is 183. The view from the back tees, you're contending with those trees in the middle. You can kind of see a little orange in between it. And here's our view from the red tee. You can see, just keep her straight to the right. She should bend back at a nice eagle. There's hole five. That would bring us to hole six. Are the red tees are 210, the black are the blue tees are 287. Here's the view from the blue tees. You can't see it, it goes up and breaks to the right just past the trees up there. Look off to your right, you got another beautiful view of that pit. The view from our red tees. If you look here, we can now start seeing that basket. There's the basket on six. This one is on a bit of a hill. You can see it, it leans to the right from this view. And the problem is if you catch a roller, it'll sometimes roll here and down this. So be safe out there, everybody. Hole number seven. The red tees are 301, 
the blue tees are 387. This one's a little bit narrower, goes up and breaks to the right. Here's our view from the red tees. You can kind of make out those stairs in the background. If you were to walk down those stairs to your left would be the basket. And there's your basket. Also yet another great view of that pit. We're at hole eight. Our blue tees are 346. Our red tees are 268. This course gives you two lanes. You can either forehand it to the left or backhand it to the right, depending, oh, that's if you're right hand. Vice versa if you're left. In the woods, I'll see if I can zoom up and get it once I get there. Kind of see it in there. Your basket for eight. Hole nine. The blue tees are 403, the red tees are 307. This is your view from the blue tees. It goes up ahead and then to the right. Here's your view from the red tees. This is a very, very rocky and stumpy. You can see the stumps in the rock, so you definitely want to watch your step on this. And that's your last basket of the front nine. This is hole 10 out in Buell, and this is a rough one. From the close tees, it's 430. From the blue tees, it's 520. So this is a real tester. And as you can see, it's, it's a pretty straight shot. This is from the middle of the tees. We'll get you back to the blue tees in a second here. But yeah, this one will definitely get you. As promised, here's your view from the blue tees. The basket is way down there. I'm gonna try to zoom in. I apologize for the shakiness. Once again, we'll be getting a new camera. And hopefully a week. I'm not sure if you can even see it. Here's your view from the red tees. Still can't see the basket. It's way up there and to the left. So let's go see it. And there it is, number 10. Hole 11, this is 380 from the red tee, 448 from the back tee, and it's a pretty long one. You can see up there the bushes on your right. You have to go past them and to the right. We'll see the basket up there shortly. I'll get you back to the blue tees. You can see not much of anything. You need to break it to the left. All right, here's a view from the red. It's a lot less scary from here. All right, now let's go see where that basket is. And there's number 11. We are in hole 12, blue tees 245, red tees 200. Here's your view from your blue tee. The 
a lot less scary of you from your red tees. And there is hole 12. Here we are at hole 13. Red tees 300, back tees 450. You can see the basket down there on the right. Here's your view from the red tees. Hole number 13. Just want to give you a little bit of a heads up when you finish 13. There's a path right there that goes in those trees and that leads to your next basket. Do not take the mode path. We're at hole 14. We affectionately call this one the Widowmaker. 262 from the blue, 195 from the red. There's your view from the red. There you go. Hole 14, the Widowmaker. Here we are at hole 15. I just want to show you this. Hole 15 is the only one without the artificial turf marking the tee box. This one has a white box painted here. Here is your view from the blues. And just so you know, blues are 334 and the reds are 195. Now you can see the basket. Hole 15. Here we are at hole 16. It's 225 from the blue, 175 from the red. You can see it's a pretty narrow shot here from the blue tees. But if you get up to the red tees, you actually do have a pretty aceable shot. This is probably one of the easier shots on the course for right-handed backhand players or a lefty that likes to form. That is hole 16. Here we are at hole 17, 266 from the red, 336 from the blue. You got to go back from the sign to get to the blue tee pads. You can't see it, but the basket is straight ahead and then off to the left. There's your red tee view. Hole 17. We're at the final hole, hole 18. The red tees are 230, the blue tees are 290. Here's your view from your blue tees. It's going to be straight down there and then off to the left over that hill. This is your view from the red tee. And that's your hole number 18.